All right, here is your walkthrough for um, getting a gyroscope working on the VEX robotics um, for your square bot as well as the LCD screen. That's your final challenge um, uh, for at least with some new content in there. Okay, so if you want to take a look here, again, I uh, kind of have it set up here. You're going to display your name and the reading of the gyroscope on your virtual LCD while running the turn utility on the robot virtual worlds. Okay, so here's kind of my code setup here. I'll just got it pulled up. <clears throat> okay, so I made a couple of voids, one for turning left, the other one for turning right. Okay, so let's kind of take a look here. Uh, I'll go ahead and use the uh, right turn. Um, so the reason why the right turn is a little easier is because um, when you're turning right, it's going to be like a clockwise motion. And so uh, that's that means the gyroscope will be able to count positive. Uh, if you go the other direction, it will be more in the negative direction. So just kind of keep that in mind. Now, the couple things to get started within my function, right? So I named this function uh, gyro right turn, and I created a parameter in here that's degrees based on every de 10 degrees, all right? And so that's how I have this set up. Um, now, if this is going to read while the sensor value for the gyroscope is less than whatever value. Okay, so for mine here, I have it set up to 900. So it's actually degrees times 10. So it's 90 degrees times 10 gives me 900. Okay, now what I want it to happen is I actually want the LCD to uh, show me whatever the sensor reading is. So the, set, the LCD code is actually built into my while loop. Okay, the first thing we ever we always do whenever we're working with the LCD screen is clear both lines so that we have we're starting from scratch empty lines so clear LCD line zero is the top line clear LCD line one is actually the bottom line uh, remember when you're counting <coughs> um, in from a computer we always start from zero okay now I'm displaying stuff so I'm going to display LCD string a uh, string entails a series of letters so uh, the zero, the first zero is talking about what row I'm starting at. The second zero is um, which line, uh, sorry, I should say which space it is. So I'm going to start from the top line, first space, and uh, I'm going to type my name in there. Okay, so for you, you include your name. After that, I'm adding another string starting from the bottom row. So that's the one. Again, the first space there gives me zero. And then I'm going to type in gyro, okay, for the gyroscope. And I'm, notice I put a space after that just so that uh, it kind of gives me a little gap before I display the number, and the number is going to be the sensor value. All right, and I chose, again, the second line, so that's why it's a 1. The 5 here is talking about the fifth space, and the reason why I'm choosing that is um, looking how many characters I fill up before that. So the G would be the 0, Y1, R2, the, the O is 3, the space would be four, so that takes me to the fifth uh, space. Uh, that's where I'm going to start displaying the sensor value. Okay, the weight one I'm set. This is kind of like your refresh rate, so that um, so it's saying every 0.1 second it'll refresh this display. Okay, and then finally I want it to keep turning. So in this case, again, it's going to be my right turn, hence the right motor goes back, left motor goes forward, and then lets me do a, uh, a point turn. Okay, and then finally, uh, you want to <clears throat> kind of readjust for any drifting. Um, so typically it takes that split second for the robot to actually stop since it had some momentum already while it's turning. And so this just is kind of a brief kind of break where I actually turn the motors the opposite direction just for a split second. So a quarter of a second, that allows it to readjust. All right, so I'm, um, your task would really be to create something similar, except you're going to do it for the left turn. And uh, the other couple things to remind you of is these first few lines of code, uh, you want to use these every time you're using the gyro. First off, you want to clear out any of the previous sensor readings. Okay, so we do that first. And then um, configure whatever port it is as the gyro sensor. And then finally, we're kind of creating what the full count would be. So that's where it will reset itself. Um, so right now it's set up to be 3,600. That means a 360 degree turn, essentially. All right, uh, so I'm going to do left turn, right turn, and it should show me the display the whole time. Let me show you guys what that looks like. If I download that to the robot, I pull up my robot C. I'm going over here to utility, go to the turn utility, and then this is what lets me kind of just freely spin around. 
the last thing I want to show is the LCD display, which comes up here, robot. Go to debugger windows, and I want the VEX LCD remote screen. Okay, so this would be what would be displaying on my LCD screen as it's running. Okay, so your final submission here should be if I hit play. Okay, it says gyro test virtual. And as it's turning this way to the left, it counts negative. As it turns to the right, it's counting positive. Hence my, and then my name was displayed the entire time. Um, that's what I'll be looking for. Okay, so notice I did get not quite the exact uh, value. It looks like it was um, not quite 90 or 900, I should say. Actually, maybe that was because of the readjustment. Just kidding. So it's doing a pretty good job. Um, just kind of, that's what you should be doing for this final challenge. All right, best of luck.